I love his trash talk and, and his, his, you know, gamemanship. And, you know, he also fought for a thriller um, event that we had once called Triad Combat. And he won there, too. And that oh, was yeah. kind of the beginning where things were going well. And then at BKFC, he found his home. Like, yeah, this, this is my sport. And, uh, you know, he's just tremendous. And he's a great promoter. Again, uh, he's one of these guys. Like, yeah. we will we will ask some people, like, hey, will you do a liner for us or tag and and promote, you know, that we're on fight this Saturday or whatever. That The guys that make all the money will say yes. I mm-hmm. can get Paul to do something. You know, we can get, you know, KSI to do something for us. Yeah. We can do all these people who are making money. But then you ask some guy lower on the card, will you do this for me? And then they never get around to it. And it's like. Uh, there's a reason why mm-hmm. you're not moving ahead. And uh, the whole thing with BKFCs is so great because they have this prospect series. Yeah. And so they're always looking for people to come and, and try it. They're doing tryouts. And, and if you're yeah. good enough, then you get on the prospect show. And, you, you know, I love it when organizations – have a pathway where if you want to work for them, I mean, yeah. it's kind of like the, the old studio system in Hollywood or whatever, you know, there used to be like kind of pathways where you would go and you'd go you'd study with this person, then you get on here. And, and now it's like, it, it's not yeah. like that. It's, it's who, you know, and, yeah. and for the most part it's who, you know, yes. but um, BKSC has been very proactive in finding the next BKSC fighter. And because sometimes, um, people that maybe don't they don't think that they would do well doing that or maybe they're they used to be an mma fighter but Mm -hmm. like it's too much you know damage to the legs for all the kickboxing or the takedown but you know they can still do stand up you know i got the cardio and i got that you know hand work but it's just you know i don't want to be pulled to the ground or a lot of people go oh is that's that new sport but you know as you know no that's an old sport you know Prior to the Queensberry rules, yes, and I'm sure you talked about this rules. too. You know, you what you would you know the expression "take the gloves off." Yeah. That's because you would only spar with gloves. Yeah. You yeah. know, because you didn't want to get hurt when you do the fight. It's time yeah. to take the gloves off, get in the squared circle, Let's and go. okay, now go for it. There are hundreds of people that reach out to the page every single month. We have got 1.1 million people across three platforms. So when you guys are having those, please make sure you tag Masterbox. And when you're having those tryouts and stuff like that, because we have people want to do it. Connections is everything. Oh, yeah. And you're in a great location because you're in South Florida, right? Yeah. And that's where so many fighters live. It's like Fight Central, whether it's yeah. MMA, BKFC, boxing, it's Everything. all there. And that's where, uh, like, BKFC, their home away from home kind of is the Hard Rock um, in Fort yeah. Lauderdale, right? Fort Lauderdale, so, Hollywood. And, yeah, Hollywood. You guys have some uh, really big things coming up. Like this weekend, Triller is going to get it popping. You know, it is, and you know, AEW is um, like our biggest client. Uh, um, because, yeah. and normally we only carry their pay per view events outside yeah. the US where they're international thing. Yeah. But beginning the Dynasty show, that's the week from Sunday on the 20th, we're carrying Ooh. it in the US. What? And we're going to be carrying the next, you know, at least three big pay per views in the US, which is awesome. Um, we love them. It's an incredible, if you have not seen AEW, even if you don't think you like pro wrestling, you know. Oh, we watched the whole card over the weekend. This we is watched- like next level stuff. It's yeah. like this, no. this, the storylines, the athleticism, it's all there. It, it's it's like watching a movie with athletes on, on TNT and TBS. Yeah. Um, carry those only internationally, but the big pay-per-view AEW dynasty is a week from Sunday, April 21st. And uh, we're super excited about it. And there's there's so many things that are, that are coming up in the future. Lots of big boxing that I mentioned earlier, knuckle mania on April 27th with BKFC with Mike Perry. You can see, you know, him and his, in his glory. Um, the sumo at Madison Square Garden, you know, mm-hmm. this Saturday. And um, just, you know, we do a thousand events a year, a thousand. When you have your events, you have autonomy to tag us, please. Okay. Because our people want to see 
what's going on. We there, my audience is 60% MMA in all disciplines, and the other is boxing and just people. Yeah. But we have a big influx of people. We got 1.1 million across. So you're going to have all kinds of people. It's just what are they seeing that's coming up? So keep feeding us. Make yeah, sure you will. connect with Stacey. Yeah. Stacey's going to connect with you guys and make sure that we, you know, keep her and collaborate on some things because I know you guys are doing some good things and we got a big audience and we want to make sure we help you and do, you know, reciprocity. Is a yeah, we'd thing. love to work with you and then yeah. we'll even be some talent, you know, that uh, on a show that you might want to interview or something. And, and just, so you know, I, I know I'm CMO uh, uh, of Triller TV, but, you know, there's a lot of people that do a lot of work. <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't do this on my own. You know, there's no. Owen on PR and Joel and social media yeah. and there's Vicky who does our paid ads and Adam who you know, is getting all sorts of subscriptions for us and Mike, yeah. my boss, whom I've mentioned. I mean, there's so many wonderful no. 